I'm Jonathan Gross. I'm the founder and CTO at Biodata. The product name is LabGuru. Um, and I was asked uh, to present how we integrate with uh, Cam Axon tools into our um, ELN. So I hope you get a glimpse of that. It's, it's very, uh, fairly hard for me to describe LabGuru in eight minutes. So you're not going to see the whole product, uh, but just what we did with Cam Axon. All right, so a bit of the company. Um, LabGuru is part of a big organization called Digital Science, which is in turn held by a German company called Holtzbrink, which also has a major stake in Springer Nature. Um, so we are in good company, as I like to say. Um, and we've been around in business for about 10 years um, and being used at uh, universities and uh, uh, bigger companies. But in the last two years, I think, uh, we see uh, a lot of more smaller biotechs um, pushing our products from biology more into the chemical workspace. So we're now focused more on chemistry, much more than we were in the past. OK, so first of all, what is LabGuru. LabGuru is an electronic laboratory notebook, an ELN, that has an integrated inventory management system. So it kind of gives you all the, uh, the, the scientist, all the things that he needs when he uh, logs in in the morning, being able to manage his experiments, being able to track samples, compounds, and also physically find them in the lab. Um, we do it for bigger companies and smaller companies uh, with a lot of data, and smaller set data sets, um, and I'll show that in a second. So I'm going to flash some screens at you just to give you an, an, an overview of uh, what LabGuru is. This is, the, this is the dashboard. This is what uh, um, her researchers will see when they log into the, the system in the morning, kind of describing their activities, but also the lab activities. There is a share calendar so they can see what's going on today. So the point of this page is kind of keeping everyone on the same page in terms of collaboration, progress. Um, and the way the system is organized, you can see on the top there is the e-notebook, which is, which is the ELN, the knowledge base, which we're not going to talk about today, but kind of all the protocols the lab uses, all the documents, all the support materials that the lab needs to conduct proper research. And then there's the inventory, and, uh, and that is where we will provide the, the, the compounds and, and uh, other data sets that you will use in, in your uh, experiments. And on the right is where physically things are stored in the lab. So kind of giving you a broad overview of uh, uh, what the system can do. As I mentioned, um, we started from inventory management um, and we transitioned into EL, the ELN space. You can add your protein list. This is a very small list, but there's AstraZeneca using hundreds of, of uh, thousands of proteins on our platform. Um, you can easily search those databases. Um, and the same goes for, for compounds. So you can build um, on top of CAMAXON's uh, uh, database. We've built our own interface and that allows um, users to upload their uh, compounds. One of the nicest things that uh, is, was requested is that different users need different views on the data. So not all the users want to see all the information. You can see uh, um, only the things that you find relevant for yourself, filter that, and, and search by that. Um, there are, when you look at a specific uh, compound, you can see all the information that you entered the stocks where they're, they're located, data sets that are associated with that uh, specific compound, experiments and protocols that are specific to that compound. So kind of giving you uh, um, a good overview of what you currently have in your company and in your research. So if you're using someone else's compound and you need to get uh, uh, an understanding how this was used in the past, this is what you would uh, see. Um, on top of that, we added uh, CAMX on calculators so you can see all the information um, that we get back from the CAMAXON database directly on, on, the, on the show page of the compound. Um, and you can further customize that. You can have, choose which um, 
chemical properties you have. You can add your own custom fields that are relevant only for your research. So the point is to show you that this is very flexible uh, uh, for your, your own organization. Um, adding compounds, right? So that was a, always a challenge. How do you pull in data? Um, there are a few ways to do that. You can simply click on the new compound and, and manually draw the compounds. Or you can import uh, from an SDF file. Again, we're relying heavily on Chemaxon for that. Um, or from uh, um, an Excel sheet with Smiles on it. On the experiment page, you can, as I said, draw your own compounds or a reaction. Um, we're using Marvin Sketch for that and web services uh, uh, to support that. Um, you will get a stoichiometric table, um, and all of the reactants and, and products will be also listed in the, in the catalog, the compound list that you, you saw uh, before. Um, all right, so we've got the products, so we've got the compounds in, and we now want to use them in experiments. A lab guru will allow you to um, build materialist cell, uh, um, cell lines, for example, and compounds that you want to test together on a plate. Um, and, and just select the compounds that you want. Also, the stocks that you have them available within your uh, organization. So this is how you would see that. You can then use our plate designer to design plates. Um, and then further down the, the, the line, you can obviously export those into your uh, plate readers uh, and get the data, data back in and run uh, downstream analyses on that. So. I want to take the opportunity to, to thank the Chemexon team. I think um, one of the greatest things that we, we're, experience, we're experiencing is the support that we're getting. And coming from biology, it's not always easy. So it's, it's good to have a strong back with, uh, with Chemexon to support the scientists that need those tools for chemistry. So thank you.